What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back, welcome back, Sports to the Bone family. Welcome back. Yes, man. So bright and early this Sunday morning. With Stindies, they have gotten across the line in this first test match against Bangladesh. So we are now 1-0 up in this series. We're going to talk a little bit about it. How Jermaine Blackwood and John Campbell were able to remain together and carry us across the line. But before we go down into that, I just want to say a special Father's Day shout out to all the fathers here on the platform. Whether you are a biological father or you are just a father figure. Happy Father's Day to you guys. You know, we have a lot of fathers on the platform here that are always sharing their knowledge and always passing on advice. Big up on yourself. Special Father's Day shout out to my own father. He's actually the one that got me hooked on cricket from a young age. So, happy Father's Day to my father. Is it me? All right, my peeps. So, let's, let's talk a little bit about this um, test match here now. I am jumping on right as the game uh, concluded. So, you know, I, I didn't even watch the, the post-match presentation and anything like that. We're just going straight into the review. So, yeah, John Campbell was able to steady the ship and remain not out, getting a half century. I think this is his third half century, if I'm not mistaken, in test cricket. Uh, probably his highest uh, test score in the region here. So, shout out to John Campbell for picking up a half century and not only that but remaining there and staying steady and focused when the ship was basically you know dilly dally dilly dallying so it was good to see John Campbell and Jermaine Blackwood coming together and basically you know showing their class and making sure that they brought us over the line two batsmen that we usually look on you know you know without without with a one eye saying hmm what are they going to do but um, the fact that we were in that position and they were able to come together, relax and just carry us across the line, it was definitely a good look. So we take this game by seven wickets. Um, seven wickets, yeah man, I think we had we have even a day to spare. So seven wickets with a day. Now the, the, the overall scores in the game, Bangladesh 103 and 245, West Indies 265 and 88 for three. You know, John Campbell finishing off the game in style with a six straight back over the bowler's head. I think um, at that point we wanted to run about two runs or something like that to win. And uh, the, the spinner pitch up and Campbell was able to just put him back over his head and brought the game home for us. So special shout out um, to, to the West Indies players. I mean, it, it wasn't a vintage performance as it relates to the batting. You know, so once again, the bowlers bailed us out. But um, we did enough to win the test match. We did enough to win the test match. And um, as I always say, you know, guys, I know, a lot of, I know sometimes when I say these things, I get a lot of beat in or a lot of stick. It's a reason why we are ranked where we are ranked. You know, we are not ranked number one. So, you know, um, not, we're not going to put, our, put in number one performance all the time. You know, it's really frustrating when we watch the team and we see them doing the same thing over and over because... I need to, <laughs> you guys have to understand there is a difference between where we are and where we want the team to be. So sometimes when we get when we escape with these narrow wins or these narrow victories, you know, we don't want to overly celebrate because in the back of our mind we are saying that we should be performing better, we should be winning. But it's a reason why we are ranked where we are ranked, you know. But we're not even going we're not even going going bash anybody today because we just win the test match, and I think this is the third consecutive uh, match. Test that 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 we are that we are winning against um, Bangladesh. So you know, shout out to them. All right. Um, in terms of the second inning score, let me just go over that quickly before I, I give you the first innings. Um, we were chasing down the 80 yard there. As I said, John Campbell getting 58 of 67, and you know, so scored at a reasonably okay pace and was also solid in defence. You know, um, Jermaine Blackwood getting 26 from 53, um, showing his maturity. As I, as I said um, in a previous video, the man is the vice captain now. So this coming in and, and going guns blazing and, and getting out can't work. You know, you have to shepherd, you have to, you have to shepherd somebody respond well, you have to hold somebody responsibility as a leader in the in the in the team. You understand? So um it, it, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't a high high total that we got to chase. Um we slip up a little bit with the with the top order there with Brathwaite and Banner and Reefer getting out you know a couple of them couple of them got out in ways that it, it wasn't it wasn't good it wasn't good Brathwaite as I said fending after a ball down your leg side Banner getting a, a, a low delivery and Reefer shoulder arming and and, and, and and getting caught behind so you know it's all about what we can do in in um 
in the in the second test match to see if we can we can sweep the series. You understand? Um, it's all about improvement. As I said, the batsmen, the batsmen will know where they need to improve. The bowlers did extremely well, especially Kemar Roach. I think he would have finished off with uh with that overall total of around about seven wickets, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, it just goes to show that Roach is a true professional, you understand. I remember before the game, before the, the start of the game, um, quite a few persons were saying that they don't want to risk him if he is not fully fit or, you know, they, well, they said, CWI said that he was fully fit, you know, but a couple of persons were saying we don't want to risk him, let him stay. But I, this is my opinion. I could be wrong. If, I, if, if they pass a man as being 100% fit, you can't, you, once you're 100% fit, you're 100% fit. You understand? You might not be you might not be as sharp as you were before in terms of, of, of your match performance. But fitness is fitness. If you are a hundred percent fit, you are a hundred percent fit. It's not like they say that he was ninety percent or ninety five and they're going to watch him and, and gauge him in you know and, and basically uh give him one a few overs less in the test. They say he was hundred percent fit. So you know, make him play man. And that proved to be a good decision as he was able to lead the bowling lineup once again. Um, Alzari Joseph also did extremely well, picking up a couple of wickets. You know, I think he had four wickets um, in the in the in the second innings. There, it's 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 about time. Um, it's about time we get a we get a a a, a, a five for from Alzari. You know, um, in the third in the second innings he had three, right? So he had three wickets in the second innings. Kyle Mears had two, while Kemar Roach had five. You know, so we definitely want to see Azari, um, you know, stepping it up a little bit more and, and, and seeing if he can can get a, a, a fifer, you know, in, in a in a innings. So he had he had that he had um those three in the second innings. In the first innings he had three. You understand? So um three and three is what six. So that is six wickets overall for him. Kemaru had two in the first innings and five in the second innings. So that is all of seven. Jaden Seals, um, he didn't pick up any in the second innings. He had two in the first, um, he had three in the first innings. So that is three for him. So, you know, um, good to see Kyle Mayers got two in the, the first innings. And I think he also had um, two in the, in the second innings. So, you know, four there. So um, the bowlers did well, my viewers and subscribers. Our spinner, Godikish Moti, did not pick up any wicket on debut, but at the same time, he was able to get some valuable experience. And we're hoping that if it is the case that um, the next test match we go down, we, we, we go to a level where, you know, Bangladesh is batting so long, we are hoping that he'll be able to come up with some magic for us and things. So there you have it, my viewers. The first test match um, done and dusted. West Indies um, securing victory by... What's that? Seven wickets and a uh, day to spare. So uh, they can just go and get their foot up, relax for the rest of the day. They have tomorrow off just the same. And then it's back working, back on the training ground, working. Batsmen um, focusing on where they went wrong. Bowlers seeing where they can be a little bit more efficient going into the into the second test. It's, it's always good to win the first game of the series. But you definitely want to finish off it, the, the, the series strong, just as how we did um, when we went to Bangladesh. You know, with with when um, we had Joshua the Silver, Banner, and a couple of other guys scoring some runs there. You know, that's how we want to finish off and see if we can secure the series. Um, we can we can sweep it. You know, uh, the co couple of guys that did not score, uh, Joshua the Silver didn't bat in the second innings, but the first innings he didn't score anything. So. He will definitely need to get his head on a swivel. You know, some, it's not all the time we're going to have a, um, the, the, the guys in the top there making runs. So we will need him to step up. If we're going to use Raymond Reefer again for the next game, definitely need to um to, to, to step it up also. Uh, I, I am not going to drop him. I'm, I'm, I, I would be using the same the same team. You understand? I don't know what the pitch is going to be like. It might be a case where they, where they see that um, the pitch might call for something different. So, you know, they might change it up. But in terms of the, the team in itself, I, I would give them the, the same team another go. I know quite a few persons are going to be saying that Tej Narayan Shandopal must come in for Floyd Reef. Some even going to say that he must come in for John Campbell. You understand? But that 50 that John Campbell just made, probably go and give, keep him in the team for the next five or six, or six years. So I don't know how you guys go work that out. But um, yeah, man, if if there is no drastic change or difference between the, the, the St. Lucia pitch and this one, um, then we definitely 
personally, I would go for the same team once everybody is fit and feeling okay to go and see if we can secure the series. So there you have it, my viewers and subscribers. And just a reminder, we are going to do a live show later on today, all right? So round about, uh, we can go live maybe about, uh, maybe about six, all right? So six, six o'clock later on this evening, we are going to be going live. By that, everybody should have had their Sunday dinner and relaxing and, you know, we can have a chat. So 6 p.m. later on, uh, that's going to be around about 5 p.m. Jamaica time. We will be going live so we can have a chat about um, the, the performance of the guys in this to um series so far so those are the major highlights as i said i didn't watch the, the, the post-match presentation but i have a feeling that um kemar roach is going to be named the man of the of, of the match even though brathwaite had a and had a 94 kemar roach seven wicket probably going to trump that so um those were the highlights my viewers and subscribers brathwaite getting 94 um, John Campbell getting in the 50s, Kemar Roach picking up um, seven wickets, Kyle Mares continuing his outstanding um, bowling performance, get performance um, getting a couple of wickets for us. Jeremy Blackwood, the vice captain, staying with um, John Campbell to see us across the line. So um, from a general point, point of view, we, we, we were able to get across the line, but there are quite a few things that we need to shape up on, and we are going to be touching on those um, later on on the live. Alright my peeps, blessings and once again, happy Father's Day to all of the fathers. Big up.